All right, in this lesson, we are going to now put together the 251, they call it, which is going to be a chord progression you are going to see in every jazz song that you're going to be playing, a 251. Okay, a little derivation here. If we're in the key of G, which we're going to start in, we see G, we know the root bass notes from our previous lesson. So one, two. That's A, A minor seven. We went over that in the last lesson, the minor seven, so that's your two chord. So we keep going up the scale, one, two, three, four, five. There's your D, D seven, the five chord, two, five, and one, the home bass. Okay, so our two chord is minor, A minor. We learned it like this like that preferred like this so you're out of the way of the melody okay and then we just move these two fingers to get to our five chord All right you see that only one note changes if you want to add the top note it's up to you this is a little easier for me anyway Okay, so let's just practice the two five right now, A minor seven to D seven. Nice and easy. One, two, three, four. and make the move. Visualize the D7 now, make the move. Now I'm going to add four to the bar. It's the long short. Full short. Two different feels. Good. Now, <clears throat> from the five, we go to the one. We practiced that a few weeks ago. So now we have the two, the five, and the one. A minor seven, D seven, and G major seven. Okay, let's practice that now. Okay, at first I'll just hit it on the downbeats. Okay, again, you got to visualize now here, the pinky slides back and these two move. You see that? Okay. All right. I'm going to start just hitting it on the downbeat. <clears throat> D7. Now visualize the G and make the move. Seven. G major seven. Now I'll put the rhythm in. Long 
bass. A minor 7. D7. And G major 7. Practice this for a few minutes. Good. So now we know we have movable form. So say we go up a fret and we're in the key of A flat. We have B minor 7, B flat 7. See that? If we go to the key of A, B minor 7, you see A. We have it in all our keys. Go down to the key of F. And there it is in the key of F. Movable forms. I want you to please practice that. Okay, next is now going to the other inversions. So we're going to change the key here. One second. Okay, D minor seven, fifth string root, to G seven, to C. That's what we're going to be doing. Here's the C. Remember the two is minor, two chord, D minor. One, two, three, four, five. G7 is the five chord. Now, what's really cool about this is you have your D minor form, your shape. And the same shape, if we move it to this set of strings and go to the six string root, is the G7. So you don't have to change anything with your hand. See that? Also want to point out, we can go to that three note chord. I also want to point out, if we take out this note, look at that. There's a three note D minor seventh by taking that out. The same way we did with the dominant seventh. So you could essentially do that. Same fingering on a different set of strings. Fifth string root, D minor, G7, three note, or four notes, same thing. Then we move to the C major 7, <clears throat> fifth string root. For now, let's practice D minor 7, G7, back and forth. Okay, I'll start with the four notes, and then I'll do the three notes for a little bit so we can get used to both of them. Both very effective and very easy. Don't press the neck too hard. We don't want to hurt our hands. Don't forget our stretching exercises. Right, with your arm, we went over these as well, nice and easy. Just stretch it out all four ways, make it even with the shoulder, and we avoid and hopefully a stretch out. And don't press too hard, you don't need to break the neck, just enough to get the sound out. Okay, here's D minor seven, G seven, fifth string root and sixth string root. One, two, three, four. See that? Isn't that nice? Makes it easy. Again, you don't have to press the neck too hard, just enough to get sound out. And now we'll put the rhythm.
musical, if not more musical. Less is more in this case. string root D minor all the way down on the 10th fret so we can see the same chord shape it's a different chord shape same chord see there's a G7 we did this before on A minor now we're going to move back to the other D minor and G7 Go D minor 7, G7, right to C major 7, the one chord. You do that as well. Okay, whichever you prefer. Let me change the key of this one. <clears throat> Here we go, D minor 7, G7, C, 5th string root. Tenth fret position, six string root. You can stay where you are if you want, either way. Two positions for the two, five, one. It's really all you have to know. You can start playing eighty percent of the songs in the songbooks. Great. 
once you get used to these chords, go to your songbooks, find play alongs. In the channel, there's a lot of play alongs, a lot of nice, easy tempo songs. Start jumping in. Again, if you see C or C major seven or any kind of major, play the major seven. Any seven chord, which means dominant seven, like G7 next to it, that's your dominant seven. And any minor chord with a little m, it says D with a little m, that's minor, the minor seventh. If it says minor seven, minor six, minor nine, minor 11, this chord is the one to get you started. Okay, so really jump into some songs and try to start playing a tune. We will in these lessons, but if you're feeling comfortable with this, start jumping into some tunes. Okay, now we're going to move this to the key of E flat. Okay, just to get into another key here, show you how easy this is. Okay, so C, C sharp, D, E flat. There's your E flat major seventh. One, two, two, five, B flat seven, E flat. Don't worry so much about the chord names. Okay, sometimes we see E flat, key of E flat. Ooh, what are we gonna do? Well, it's just movable forms. F minor seven, B flat seven, E flat. So let's move it here. And it's good to know these chords because sometimes you don't wanna be all the way down here on the fingerboard. You wanna be in the middle of the fingerboard. So it's good to have options two ways. So let's play F minor seven, B flat seven, E flat a few times through. And then we'll call it a day. A one, two, three, four. Okay, the two five one in two positions. That's great. Great work. Thank you.